Whenever we come across simultaneous or systems of equations in three or more variables, we have the option to use the elimination and substitution method in order to solve them, but sometimes that gets pretty messy. So let's take a look at solving these with matrices using Gauss-Jordan elimination. And so Gauss-Jordan elimination is a series of row operations where we can interchange any two rows, multiply each element of a row by non-zero constant, or replace that row by the sum of itself in a constant multiple of another row. And in order to first put these into matrix form, we want to get rid of those variables. We're just going to keep the coefficients. And then I'll put a line here that symbolizes the equal sign. And on this side, we'll put the other side of the equal sign. Whatever we do to the left side, we're going to do to the right side. We want to end up with the identity matrix over here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then on this side, we'll have the answers. So the first column represents the x values, second column the y values, third column the z values. And so we'll get 1, 0, 0 is equal to some number here, so we'll have only x on this side, and what x is equal to on the other side. And so first, I want to subtract R1 from R2, and I'm also going to subtract from R3 2 times R1. And we get first row is the same, 1, 1, 1, and then R2 minus R1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, and then 2 times R1 subtracted from R3, so we'll get 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, and then on this side, this stays the same. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, next. So we're starting to see the identity matrix showing up here. We have only uh, one in the top column, in the top row, in this column, and we want to get rid of this one and this one, and then make the third column a, a zeros on the two top rows and one on the bottom. So let's take a look at R3 plus R2 and R1 minus R2. So R1 minus R2, 1 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus negative 2 is 3. Second row stays the same, 0, 1, negative 2. And then R3 plus R2, so we're going to end up with 0 there, 0 again, and negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Then on the right side we'll have negative 2, 4, and 5. So again, we're starting to see this come together now. Now let's take R3 and divide it by negative 5 in order to get a 1 in that last place there. So we're going to have again 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, negative 2. And then we'll get our 0, 0, 1 here. And we have negative 2, 4, negative 1. So we're going to take this number and use it to eliminate the other two non-zero constants in that column. And so let's do them together. R1 minus 3 R3. And R2 plus 2 R3. And that should take us to the identity matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. And then on this side we have 1, 2, negative 1. And so our solutions are 
x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals negative 1. And we can check that by plugging these numbers back into that original equation. x is 1, 1 plus 2 plus a negative 1. These cross out, and we get 2. Satisfies our first equation. Next, 1 plus 2 times 2, which is 4, minus a negative 1. Right? 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6. That checks out. These two check. And let's take a look at the third one. 2 times 1 plus 2 minus, again, a negative 1, and we get 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and so those check out. All right, so now let's take a look at an application where we use matrices to solve a problem involving Kirchhoff's and Ohm's law. Remember, Kirchhoff's law tells us that the sum of all currents in any node or juncture is equal to 0, and then Ohm's law is just simply voltage equals current times resistance, or V equals IR. And so if we have in this loop our voltage source 6 volts, right? And so we have 6 volts for I1 here equals 2, 2 ohms times I1, right? Plus 1 ohm times, we've got I1 going this way and I2 going that way. So I1 is going down in this, in this wire here, and I2 is going up. So we've got to take I1 minus I2, right? And so we simplify 6 volts equals I1 times 2 plus 1 ohms minus I2 times 1 ohm. And then in this loop, we've got 3 volts. Our current is going this way. And so 3 volts equals 6 ohms times I2 right here. And then again, we've got I, I2 going up, I1 coming down. So in this equation, we've got 1 ohm times I2 minus I1. We don't know which direction exactly it's going to go. Depends on which is stronger. And to simplify, 3 volts equals negative 1 ohms times I1 plus I2 times 6 plus 1 ohms. Let's put this into matrix form. And so basically we've got, let's get rid of our rid of some of our complicated area here. We've got uh, three three negative one and six. And over here we've got negative one, seven and three. Again, these are the voltages. So two plus one is three, three I one. And then I2, negative 1 is our coefficient. Here we've got negative 1, I1, and 7 ohms. Okay, so this should be a pretty simple one. Uh, when it comes to 2 by 2 matrices, it, you don't need to do many row operations. It's, it might just as well be easier to do simultaneous equations by elimination and substitution, but just to illustrate that we can do this with matrices. We'll go ahead and do these row operations. R1 plus 2 R2. R1 plus 2 R2 gives us 1, 13, 12, and then negative 1, 7, and 3. And let's take R2 plus R1. R2 plus R1 gives us 1, 13, 12, 0, 20, and 15. And almost done here. Take R2, divide it by 20, 1, 13, 0, 1, 12, and 15 over 20, or 0 0.75. And finally, 
R1 minus 13 R2. One zero zero one. There's our identity matrix. <clears throat> we get two point two five and zero point seven five. And so I one equals two point two five amps, and I two equals zero point seven five amps. All right, we can check that with our original equations up here. Six is equal to 4.5 or 2 times I1, 4.5 plus 1.5. That checks out. And then 3 is equal to 0 0.75 times 7 minus 2.25. 2.25, and that equals 5.25 minus 2.25, which is 3. Correct. Okay, so we can use matrices to uh, solve simultaneous or systems of equations using Gauss-Jordan elimination.